Preparations for Afghanistan's presidential runoff are well underway. These workers are preparing the sealed ballot boxes for delivery to polling stations across the country. There are more than 12 million eligible voters for the June 14th poll and coordinating the vote across 34 provinces at 20,000 polling stations will be a huge logistical challenge. But Wahid Wafa, a political analyst, warns that's not the least of it. The situation is very unpredictable. As I say, it, uh, we are hearing a lot of indications that Taliban are going to disrupt this round. Security might be the first challenge and the biggest challenge. Last week, the Taliban began its so-called spring offensive, marking the start of the fighting season. The group has threatened to disrupt the poll, describing it as fake. Noor Mohammed Noor speaks for the Independent Election Commission. He says he's confident the vote will be held on time. The only option for the Afghan people, for the uh, organization in Afghanistan, um, this election. Uh, but we know that uh, probably uh, the Taliban and some other insurgents tried to sabotage that process. We know that too, the people of Afghanistan want to conduct the election in Afghanistan. But others are not so sure. Although a record number of ballots were cast in April's election, the increased threat of violence ahead of June's runoff means many voters may just stay home on polling day. Imtiaz Taib, Al Jazeera, Kabul.